Mr. Stambedakis, what are some of the biggest hurdles on the road to decarbonization? Um, definitely the carbonization path is not a single path. As I mentioned in my presentation earlier, uh, based on the type, size, and trade pattern of each vessel, the decarbonization path will be different. However, there are no magic solutions. There will be needed energy saving devices for increasing the efficiency of a vessel, and those can be the PVCFs, half fins, economizers, air lubrication, or AMPs. But also the carbon capture and storage devices. The technology is mature for such kind of technology. However, the infrastructure on the port and on the land side is not ready yet. Um, port reception facilities, CO2 carriage or CO2 storage facilities are still missing in the globe, but we've seen heavy investment on those fields and we've seen a rapid increase on the number of vessels which will be able to carry CO2 or the locations will be able to store the capsule CO2. Now, given the uncertainty of, on fuels, how do you think uh, shipping companies can renew their fleets? That is, very, that is a very challenging question, noting that uh, nowadays, we, are, we operate a relatively young and efficient fleet, which does not leave a lot of room for improvement on, uh, on the existing designs. Also, noting or considering the life cycle of a vessel, I don't think that building new vessels for replacing the older vessel is uh, environmentally uh, sustainable. Therefore, I strongly suggest to the ship owners to ha to note the operation profile of each one of their vessels and then based on the current technologies based on the specific targets when it comes to the CII to apply minor modifications now in those cases where the vessels are really old and needs to be replaced vessels ready to burn alternative fuels or vessels equipped with uh, energy saving devices or hull efficient designs should be those uh, areas which they should focus. What do you think is the most likely outcome in terms of fuels uh, that can lead to reduction of emissions? LNG is uh, the first step. LNG, of course, is not a carbon uh, natural fu uh, not, uh, neutral fuel. Therefore, with the LNG, we can start and then we'll move to more exotic alternative fuels like methanol or biomethanol and uh, green fuels until we may end to the ultimate solution, which is the hydrogen. The hydrogen is the only carbon neutral uh, fuel available at the moment. However, there are a lot of implications related to the safety to the burning of, the, of, the, of the, the hydrogen before it can be applied on board the vessels.